What do you do if the public domain property you want to use is tied up with lots of red tape? You grab your scissors, because here we go. Coming to you from parts unknown, it's Van Scapling, talking comics, graphic design, and art. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Happy Wednesday, Vance Kepley of Vance Kepley Art here. There are several public domain characters who have tied up in so much legal baloney they could open a delicatessen. I'm looking at you, Tarzan, Buck Rogers, Zorro, Conan, Sherlock Holmes. These guys are so far out of reach that you can't even mention their names without getting slapped down. And using websites to find a list of truly 100% usable public domain characters, you know, the ones you can make new adventures of, is nearly impossible. One character that is tied up in this madness is the original Captain Marvel, you know, Shazam. In the uh, 40s, DC sues Fawcett, the publisher of the original Captain Marvel, saying that it's a knockoff of Superman. The lightning bolt is a stylized S. They both have black hair, they both can fly, they both have capes, they both have super strength, etc., 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 you know, after a few failed attempts and being dragged back to court over and over again, along with lagging post-war sales, Fawcett couldn't fight anymore and decided to cease publication of The Good Captain in 1953. The name Captain Marvel was grabbed up by Marvel Comics in the 60s and trademarked. In 1972, DC rented the Marvel family characters from Fawcett. DC then trademarked the word Shazam. In 1991, DC Comics purchased the rights to the characters from Fawcett Publishing. In 2011, Captain Marvel's name was changed to Shazam. Now with an updated costume and a new name, he was called Shazam. The original Captain Marvel, as he was from 41 to 53, no longer exists except in reprints. I think Captain Marvel deserves better. As you know, if you don't, then scroll back to my past videos. You'll see I'm a gigantic fan of the Big Red Cheese. I've drawn him since I was a kid, and I would love to make comics of him, but because of the insane amount of red tape involved, it is impossible. But what about an homage? I did an homage of Wiz Comics for my Thunderbolt cover. It'll be ready soon. I'm only one man. I can only do so much. In 2019, I began work on a project called WS 156. The idea would be a fictitious version of the trial between Fawcett and DC using characters similar to the ones involved in the lawsuit. In part one of the story, a space alien superhero is suing the wizard for creating the captain. The judge learns that the wizard combined the captain with a boy, so the judge is like really angry with the wizard for endangering the boy. He orders that the wizard separate the boy from the captain, take the captain's powers and the costume, and keep all three of these people, the wizard, captain, and the boy, apart from each other. But the wizard sends a message to the captain. In it, he is told to find the wizard Merlin for training to be a uh, kind of a new magician, while at the same time using new powers to fight crime. Now, I've drawn the first half of the story. And I did it in a cartoony style, kind of a salute to uh, C.C. Beck and Kurt Schaffenberger, real simplified style. For the second half, I go with more of a traditional heroic style art, but also staying with a retro look. I call them the Wizard's Champion as I wrote it. The name stuck, and now I call them just Champion. I'm hoping to finish the whole book soon. Because Champion will be in the second Captain Zero comic that me and Andy Hardison are working on. Oh, uh, yeah. Now back to <laughs> now back to the original point. As I said, get the scissors, cut the red tape, and create something. Yes, there's going to be characters you want to play with in the public domain, but change them. Do them as homages. Alter them enough where you can do something creative with them and not be tied up by legalese. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and God bless. Look after one another. Talk to you later. Bye.
Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at teepublic.com. You'll be glad you did.